up the roots, give it a good massage. Yeah. You can say something nice to it if you want. <laughs> We're gonna put it in and you want to backfill around it. I like getting dirty. <laughs> I hadn't planted trees before and I really hope I could do it again because it was really fun. You're helping to save salmon right now. Last year, they learned all about the life cycle of the salmon. We actually had salmon in our classroom. Yeah, we had names. I called mine Juliet because um, that's my favorite name. But now my favorite name for one would be Christella. And they went on some field trips to release the salmon in the rivers. We got to see them go and continue their journey for a new cycle. And this year, they've been doing some planting to boost up the habitat to make it a healthier environment for the salmon to come through. It's so important for them to be in nature to see that, that there's a life outside of their computer screen. It would be cool if other kids could learn this also. They could have their own salmon to like name and stuff. She cares so much more because she's out and sees real animals, real plants, and is working with her hands and is outside of the classroom environment. It's part of respecting the world we live in and appreciating it and enjoying it. And we're starting its back! <laughs> this has been so amazing to realize the point of the zoo is so much more than just entertainment. It's really focused on conservation and truly protecting the environment and nurturing the environment. The zoo's partnership has expanded science education, so I think it's very valuable to have this in schools anywhere you can get the funding for it. Because of this experience, Marin will remember the life cycle of salmon and everything to do with salmon probably for the rest of her life.